Zlatan Ibrahimovic slandering Messi. Surgeon's hard foul on Messi. Kylian Mbappe being jealous of Messi. Icardi not liking Messi. Pepe trying to hurt Messi and swearing and many more. Here are the footballers who hate Messi. Lionel Messi looks like a walking missile. He is one of the most important players in football history, but his success has come at a price. Messi was at the peak of his career in 2010, scoring goals and dominating the pitch until Sergio Ramos arrived. After years of facing each other in Spanish derbies, Messi and Ramos met in front of PSG, but they didn't get on very well. Sergio, who tackled Messi many times, managed to frustrate Messi. He was constantly knocking Messi down, sometimes disappearing mercilessly when he knocked him down, sometimes harassing him with hand gestures, and the reason for this is very simple. Ramos absolutely hates Messi. Of course, they are teammates now. But back then, the rivalry between them was fierce. Ramos would foul Messi many times in matches. He would do everything to annoy him, even making Leo angry enough to insult his mom. Of course, Ramos used to be Real Madrid's best player, and his main job was to stop Messi. Now they're at PSG and laughing together. It was a sweet show of rivalry. Messi was again very good in those years, but this time not against Sergio, but against Zlatan. Despite Messi's talent, opponents were constantly targeting and harassing him in matches. Barcelona's young coach Pep Guardiola realized that Messi needed support to succeed. He immediately put Plan B into action. Pep signed Swedish giant Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but Zlatan felt alienated. It was as if his blood hadn't warmed up to Messi. He was struggling to adapt to the team. Finally, he couldn't wait any longer and revealed his feelings to the world. It was like a childhood dream and I was walking on air. Everything was going well until Messi started talking. He wanted to change position and said, I've been sacrificed. Zlatan was furious. He didn't stop there. He started slandering Messi. That's when Pep realized he had to make a decision. And a few months later, Zlatan joined Milan on loan before the transfer became permanent. This led to Messi and Zlatan hating each other. The public reaction was in favor of Messi. No wonder they didn't shake hands. If I were Messi, I'd be scared too. Look at his muscles. It's like flames shooting out of his face. He looks like a tough guy. He's 41, but he looks so young. After Zlatan left, People thought it would be the last time Messi would have problems with a teammate, but they were wrong. However, 11 years later, an even bigger disaster awaited Messi. In 2021, Barca suffered a financial collapse, which meant that Messi became a free agent for a few days. Crazy, right? Clubs from all over the world were bidding for his signature. PSG wasted no time in announcing the deal and got Messi's signature before any other team could make a move. Now, Messi was at a new club, in a new environment and with a new enemy. Messi was now the new face of everything at PSG, from match day vans to sponsorship ads. The man's face was everywhere, but he was getting on the nerves of one of his teammates, and you can guess who it was. Before Messi's arrival, Kylian Mbappe was PSG's star man. The club was at his feet, so there was some serious sucking up going on in the PSG dressing room. Kylian Mbappe didn't mind, but now there was Messi. Killian was no longer the main man at the club, and he wasn't happy about it. Still, he tried to hide it, until one day he let it slip, and the cameras caught the fight.
In a league game against Montpellier, Mbappe made a run, but Messi didn't pick him out, and Mbappe went berserk. Mbappe got so angry that instead of talking to him after the game, he did the unthinkable and pushed Messi. It blew up on social media, and Mbappe tried to play it down. But it is what it is, mate. The whole world knows the truth. Mbappe hates Messi. Mbappe signed a new mega deal in the summer that gives him a say in transfers. Maybe that's why Messi refused to sign a new contract. It's crazy that Messi has problems with his teammates. But it's not just that. Only at club level. Things are even crazier at national team level. Argentina's coach had a big problem before the 2018 World Cup. He had so many options to choose from in attack, but one man's name kept popping up and everyone thought he was going to make the list. But when the names were announced, there was a shock. Mauro Icardi was left out. He had been in fine form for his club Inter Milan. When asked about it, he said it was because of one person. Mauro Icardi was furious. I didn't make the list because I didn't get on with Messi. I didn't get on with Leo, and my name remained on the list. That's a very big statement. Icardi later denied the allegations, claiming he was on good terms with Messi. But when you've only played six games for the national team in over five years, something is going on. I still don't think Icardi likes Messi, mate. I think it was just to appease social media. Here's another footballer who hates Messi. A very angry man fought with a goat in the quarterfinals of the 2022 World Cup. Argentina faced the Netherlands in one of the most epic World Cup matches of all time. The match ended 2-2, with Argentina winning on penalties, but there was plenty of drama in the match. In extra time, Messi collided with the entire Dutch team, and the tension was high. After the game, they were on their way to the dressing room when all hell broke loose. Wegrost was waiting for Messi in the tunnel. All he wanted was Messi's shirt. But when he approached him to ask for it, he realized he'd made the biggest mistake of his career. Messi insulted him and even called him an idiot. Wegrost was furious and took to social media to explain the situation. He and his teammates were disappointed not to reach the final. But something happened in the 37th minute of the game that brought Messi back to life. It was Messi who started it all, and I'm sure he still hasn't forgiven him. But at least Wegrost has a reason to hate Messi. The other guy just wants to destroy him. He has no other goal. He's so vicious. Messi and Barca were different, mate. It was crazy. He would double up coaches in games just to stop him. In El Clasico, the Real Madrid players knew they had to be in the game when Leo was playing. But Pepe took it to the extreme. The things he did to Messi were brutal. He kneed him, stepped on his fingers, and even called him names, all because Messi was playing great football. It was terrible. I think he was very jealous of Messi. But Pepe is only half the story. The other half is Messi's worst nightmare. During the game between Barcelona and Atletico de Madrid, Brazilian defender Felipe Luis had his fair share of problems with Messi. Luis was once shown a straight red card for a hard tackle on Messi during the game, and he didn't hide his frustration at the difficulty of containing the Argentine during games. He was clearly jealous of Leo. It's impossible for him to make that hard tackle unintentionally. He makes a deliberate hard tackle on Leo, Messi is writhing on the ground, and it must be very painful. Gary Metal. The Chilean defensive midfielder, known for his fiery temperament, has clashed with Messi during the Copa America. The most notable incident came during the 2019 tournament, when both players were sent off after a heated argument. Despite their clash, it was more about the heat of the moment than any lasting animosity that adds to the rivalry in football. Y aquí venimos de nuevo, sus amigos de Efecto Elegante. 